have a CD coming out? Yes, we do. No, it's tragic. What's the release date, or has it been set yet? No, no release date. It's been set yet. We're, uh, we just finished it not long ago, and uh, we're really excited about it. We've got a lot of cool players on it, influences and friends alike. We've got uh, Tom Cooper from Cinderella player on it. We have the whole band, Hinder, playing Mike Shipley. We got to work with him. Uh, he makes the track, and uh, he's the guy that did everybody from Fake Hill to Shania Twain to Def Leppard. Green Day and Room 5, all the big guys. I'm amazed. And I had to work with Bo Hoop and uh, Jason Nelson again. So you're coming to uh, Chicago House of Blues January 5th. Yes. yes. Um, you're out on the road now, or the tour's already started? Yeah, right? we, uh, and it never stopped. <laughs> yeah, it's never stopped. In the six years that we've been playing together now, we've taken a total of one week a year off. But, uh, so, uh, yeah, it's Non-stop tonight we're playing in Tuscaloosa, Alabama. Well, nowadays it's, it's hard to just survive off of record sales. If, if you quit touring, you kind of quit eating. So we, we got to stay out there, you know, doing shows and selling merch and putting food on the table. I see you guys picked up the Motley Cruise. I think that's noteworthy or we're talking about. Absolutely. We're excited about that. Motley Crue is one of those bands that, you know, we grew up listening to as little kids and Actually, the reason that I even picked up a guitar and joined a band in the first place was because of Motley Crue, so we're really fired up about that. So tell me a little bit about the, I noticed that on, the, on MySpace here, you guys had a few releases from the new uh, CD, Tragic City yeah, Symphony. Um, it was Lindsay uh, Says, Disappointment. What's the inspiration on those? The inspiration is behind uh, those particular songs. Lindsay Says had actually started out uh, a friend, um, actually David had called me and was like, hey man, you know, Lindsay Lohan's in so much trouble all the time, it would just be funny to do a parody song about her. He said, uh, come up with something and uh, we'll work on it tomorrow. And I was like, okay. So I sat down and originally it was going to be a parody song about Lindsay Lohan and what it turned into it was something that we've all gone through with the uh, with relationships with girls in the past. And, uh, but the song started right out, like I said, it's to be a parody song, and then it turned into a serious song, and now it has nothing to do with Lindsay Lohan. <laughs> it just happens to be, I just called it Lindsay Senators because that was the inspiration originally. But it's a song, but then it turned out, ended up being a really cool song. Yeah, as far as uh, just to say anything, it's another one of those songs where uh, another relationship song, I figure. Um, <laughs> Just about, you know, if, you, if you've been with somebody for a long time, whether it be a girlfriend or a wife or whatever, you know, you, you all go through the thing. Everybody goes through a time where, you know, you get the silent treatment. And silence, you know, like, like Tommy Lee says in his book, silence equals death. That's, that's how it feels. You know, and, and, and you're literally, you know, you're in the midst of, you've already apologized, you're in a fight, you just wish they would say anything to you at all. You. And there, there's a lot deeper meaning than that, but that's the uh, that's the meaning on the surface for sure. And I was just picking up the piano at the beginning of that. Did I hear some piano or keyboards? That's you, okay? Yeah. <laughs> it's a piano, okay? We got the kind of money to be hiring out piano work. <laughs> <laughs> we'll put one finger on the nose and one on the key and figure it out. <laughs> <laughs> so you guys definitely have some music background. I can't go without touching on some stuff I read out on the internet and, and uh, you know, see what truth lies in that. Which part? There's so much on the net. Oh, the I'm sure he's talking about the bio. Yeah, yeah on the bio. <laughs> exactly. Yeah, Phoebe Nix, Ronnie James, Dale Connecticut. <laughs> right. We have read about it. We have read the back there on the bio. They got to be where, I mean, we could never finish them. They're all just the same monotonous crap. <laughs>